what do you mean I don't have a seat? I've been looking time and time again, but I can't find a Mr. Allen. A high school dropout isn't family. Go home. What? Go home. Go home. Okay, sure. I'll leave. I'll be taking my celebration 10K with me, too. Celebration? T 10,000? Trouble busters. I'm going to get married. Wait, really? So get out. Huh? Get out? From where? From this town. What? Why? Because my darling is going to stay in this house, of course. I didn't know that that was set in stone. If you're in this town, my adorable darling might catch sight of your horrible dropout ass. If you want to stay here still, then you can live in the sewers. What in the escaped convict? Shut up. Get out of my town. No, no. I'm going to be seeing him at the wedding anyway. What? Huh? You really thought I'd invite you to the wedding? I'm never letting him see you. I'm gonna melt your front teeth with acid. What is going on? Why are you being so violent? Seriously, do not come. I'm not pretending or anything. Wait, hang on. If you get married to him, then he's going to be family, right? He's gonna be my brother-in-law. I mean, on paper. But you're telling me not to come. Why? This wedding is super expensive. It's a once-in-a-lifetime wedding. I get it, but... I don't want all these incredible people attending a once-in-a-lifetime event to be exposed to your dropout virus. Everyone is gonna divorce. Dis everyone's gonna devolve into apes. They're all gonna be saying itchy, tasty at the end. Why is everyone going to turn into a zombie just by seeing me? That's because you're a dropout loser. You really don't understand even at your age. Look around you. You're the only person that's a dropout. You should start understanding your situation and how horrible you are. No, I think I live a pretty normal life. Yeah, you're the only person that thinks that. No, I'm seriously living a normal life. Come on, let me go. I want to see mom and everyone, you know. And besides, you loved me when we were young. If you weren't a dropout, I'd still love you. Everyone hates you for being a dropout and how shameful you are now. That's not true. Everyone understands. That's just what you want to think. I saw you talking to some weak-looking man at the cafe tourists. Huh? They're still complaining about how they won't accept it. <sighs> right? I knew that company was insane. Ah, uh, I wanna quit already. Seriously? Whatever. Worst case scenario, we just ignore it. I'll fight it if push comes to shove. Ah, <sighs> that's how we become unemployed. Come on, we got this, don't worry. <laughs> You're so relaxed. That's a total loser's conversation. Your friend is probably a dropout too, huh? No, that's not a friend, that's... <sighs> Shut up, I don't care about your stupid dropout interactions. Listen to me, my job is... I got it. Huh? You got it? You're just looking to steal all the gifts at my wedding. What? It's such a cliche. A dropout and theft is like red on a barn door. You're insane. You're going too far. Shut up, you dropout jobless freak. Get out. I was kicked out without being able to get a word in edgewise. And then while I was leaving, she yelled at me saying that I also didn't have a girlfriend because I was a dropout. <sighs> Damn it. Right as I was about to give up and leave, my mom called me and I was accepted to the wedding. My sister really didn't want to, but my mom really pushed hard for me. There we go. I'm gonna use this as a chance to show off that I work hard too. Wait, sis? Uh, hello? This job has been troubling. What? The more I look into this, the more I'm shocked. So, what is a person wanting to do about it? Huh? What do you mean I'm not on the list? Yes, sir. I've been looking for a Mr. Allen, and I just don't see anyone. Huh? Allen? What's wrong? You look like a French bulldog with your nose scrunched up like that. Why a French bulldog? My nose is fine. At least leave it a small puppy. Get inside. All our relatives want to see you, too. Well, actually... Why are you here? Wait, sis? I don't believe it. Would you actually come? I mean, you sent me an invitation, so yeah. No, no, no. Come on, man. Figure it out. I hate this guy. You need to read between the lines, man. You're probably that one guy that's always going technically in class during arguments. No, I'd probably actually listen to what they have to say. I'm not that annoying. <sighs> so you know you're at least a little annoying, but you showed up anyway. You're so gross. Inviting a dropout is pretty much technically saying stay away. What? Barbara, you're going too far. That's not what we agreed on. You said he could come. Now, look here. Hey, Barbara, that's not what we agreed on. S sorry sir I thought the dropout was supposed to not show up the day of. No, he kind of just showed up and... What? How can you be so rude towards my son? It's a wonderful place to be and this dropout loser is showing up? Oh, that's so horrible. 
Yeah, what are you going to do if he affects our son negatively? Alan works hard and contributes a lot to society. Yeah, a dropout can't be a hard worker. Yeah, exactly. It's like trying to convince us that a non-rated restaurant is as good as a three Michelin star restaurant. Huh, not convincing at all. I'm sorry, Mom. I don't want him to be here. It's unbecoming. What? Why? Because you're a dropout. Dropouts aren't family. Go home. What? How dare you, Barbara. Mom, you need to shut up, too. You're too full of yourself. You keep it up, and I'm gonna have you removed, too. How horrible are you? Oh, <laughs> great decision, Miss Barbara. Indeed. A woman who gave birth to a man who dropped out of high school is not family either. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm the CEO and owner of my empire. And our son is gonna be taking over that company while playing an invaluable role. And I'll be his wife to take care of him. I am happy and thankful for you raising me, so I want to give you some of your share, but... If you're going to be covering for Mr. Allen, you will dine with Mr. Allen. You will be the same rotten little egg as him. You need to stop calling someone's son a rotten egg. He's also... Enough, Mom. Allen. I'm not going to celebrate after all of this. Woo, he's going to go home. Get out, get out. We'll be able to enjoy our wedding as much as we want now. Seriously. I'm going home. I was going to give you 10k as a gift, but you don't need this either, right? Huh? 10k? What? 10k? Wait, 10k? I mean, I'm a CEO too, so I figured I would really pop off for my family, but whatever. Wait, hang on just a second. They were clearly shaken by the mention of 10k. It was really gross. I don't want to be related to these idiots. I'm never going to forgive them. Trouble busters! Stop lying like that. If you think I'm lying, ignore me. Y you're probably lying, but we need a fact check. Fact check what? <laughs> Whatever the case, I'm not giving you this money, so it's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Just show me. Yeah, if it's fake money, we're calling the cops on you. I didn't want to deal with the cops, so I just let them look. The touch, the smell, the shine. It's absolutely real. I'm glad you know now. Bye. Alan! Come on, Alan! Mr. Alan! Ew. This is gross. Come on, what are you doing, Alan? Come on inside! Yeah, you're the main character of this whole thing. Let's have a great time together, huh? Let go of me! I show you some money and now you're acting completely different? Talk about easy to read. You were just totally joking a second ago. Yeah, it was a joke. You know, a surprise. Hey, you piece of shit receptionist, stop fooling around. Let Alan sit. You're slow, so Mr. Allen has made a misunderstanding. Yeah, and we lost 10k, so how are you gonna make up for it? No, I don't care about prank or whatever. His name is not on the list. Do not act like we're the ones at fault here. Stop lying. You need to get him a VIP seat right now. He's a really valuable brother. These people. Yeah, they're completely horrible. I'm so glad to have a brother like you. 10k for a wedding gift? I was moved. This is just another great testament to your great teachings. <laughs> I haven't really done much. But why do you have so much money, Mr. Allen? I know you said you were a CEO, but how much money do you make a year? Why don't you have a girlfriend, Mr. CEO man? Maybe I was just dreaming of the thing that I saw at the cafe? <sighs> I not only help out people who struggle with leaving their jobs, I help them find new jobs. I make sure they're able to find a new place that they're comfortable with. Y you really did that as a dropout? That sounds harmless, but it's actually really rude. I started this for people who are like me and have a difficult time finding good jobs, you know. They don't know what to do and it's just been working. Eventually, I was able to really secure funds for myself and start my own business after learning all the tricks of the trade. What is that insane vitality? You're like an MVP in a gaming team. I figured that I could find a way even as a dropout and I didn't do that just to make you feel like you're in debt to me. I did it because we were family. How dare you say that he's not family. I don't know that. I thought he was just dumb and dropped out. That's still not a good excuse for your actions. I always thought that I couldn't get over your behavior and attitude towards Alan. I'm not old enough to be leeching off of you. I can make my own damn money, thank you very much. You know, you don't know anything about Mom or myself. I mean, we're not gonna be family anymore, so it's not like it matters. What? What do you mean? I don't want that. You just said that, though. You said that high school dropouts aren't family. Like I was saying, it was a joke. It definitely didn't feel like a joke. That's all just a performance. I used to be a big performer arts girl. Yeah, you're definitely some kind of clown. Yeah, I agree. Let's go grab something to eat since we were both kicked out, huh? That sounds great. Wait, Alan! Enough, Barbara! Huh? We were being kind because we wanted the 10K, but now they've gone too far. That's the truth, then. 
I'm so glad that we cut ties with her. Seriously, they're like the worst possible things that could possibly be considered relatives to us. Thinking about it now, calmly, there's nothing that's more sad than trying to chase money you won't get. That's exactly right. We did miss out on a big amount of money, but it's just a company that some high school dropout started. <laughs> It's going to be gone by tomorrow. <laughs> that's so true. I guess a dropout and the mother that's okay with a dropout are both pretty crappy, huh? Get out of our sight. <laughs> true. We have a college graduate that started a big company and they have a dropout. It's like a middle school baseball player batting against an MLB player. That's so true. Let's go. Tim is waiting. I wasn't sure if I should say this because we were celebrating for you today, but... What? Hmm... What is it? Your company is... Eh, never mind. I'll tell you later. You little... Come on, Mom. That seemed like he had something up his sleeve. I'm sure he's just bluffing. You aren't involved in any risky business, are you? If you are, I need to rethink my marriage with you. Today's the big wedding day. Stop wasting my time. If you're not doing anything shady, then just tell me that you're not doing anything shady. I have not done anything wrong. We are a very straightforward and honest company. Uh, okay. I don't know why, but I have a really bad feeling about this. They're gonna start figuring things out soon. Yeah. Ellen, can I ask you something? Please don't call me Alana, Sheila. You're embarrassing me. You are telling me to stop because you're the CEO. You're telling me to stop because it's embarrassing. That's cute. Alright, I guess I'm gonna be with you for as long as I want. Sheila, please stop messing with me. Okay, okay. We've got a complaint on line three. Ah, cool. Thanks. You guys are really getting along well. Oh, she's just teasing me. Let's start moving things along later. Okay, sure. Ma'am, if you don't mind. You got it. If you don't want to, you don't have to answer the calls from the company. Yeah, if you want, you can just say please refer to my lawyer, Helen, and I'll take care of it. <laughs> okay. Hello, this is Alan. What have you done? <laughs> hey, uh, I was actually just talking about your company. How could you have done this to us? You realize that I am your sister's husband's father! I cut ties with my sister, so I have no connections with you either. Please understand that. How am I supposed to understand that? You need to stay calm. You getting angry is not gonna change the fact that we're going to respect the client's wishes and sue you. No! You're misunderstanding something! If that's how you feel, then you shouldn't be so worried. I mean, we've got quite a bit of evidence on you before we decided to go for suing you, so you better be ready. Our lawyer is very, very skilled. I think you're gonna have a hard time talking your way out of this one. Wait, hang on, let's talk about it. If you want to talk settlement, please talk to our lawyer. We're not settling. I've done nothing wrong, so why am I having to pay? All the idiots that have left because they're spineless are the ones that are at fault here. Yeah, you can tell that to the judge. It was really just coincidence, but apparently the man that my sister got married to and her father's company happened to be the company that my clients were asking to work with. Seriously, you have no idea how surprised I was when I saw the name. Honestly, there's a lot of clients that come to us to quit from your company. There's probably an insane amount of people who quit, right? Shut up! Don't talk about how we operate! No, seriously, you should reconsider. You might think that you've only got Mr. Donaway's court case, but there are numerous clients on my end that would love to jump in on this. What? Donaway is the last person that would do anything to us! I didn't say that. You realize that there are at least seven other people just this month that are considering suing your company? No, don't do that! That's not for me to choose. Man, I'm really liking this company. We even offer services for our clients that allow a private attorney to come and work their case to make sure that they get what they deserve. Seven is too many! You have no idea how that'll reflect on our company! I mean, it's your fault for acting in a way that seven people think it's worth suing you. If my clients are happy, then I'm happy. Goodbye, adios, sayonara. Just like I said, I just did my job. 17 people from his company all sued him and they lost all of them. They were deemed liable for almost 470k worth of damages. How bad do you have to act to get this far? Whatever. If you look at the wedding ring, you really can't be surprised, I guess. They lost quite a bit of trust and clients they had any business with were leaving them quickly. Before you knew it, his company went under and all four of them are working part-time jobs to pay off their debt. Please, Alan, you need to at least save me! Sorry, I'm just a dropout, so it might take a second for me to understand. Can you wait, like, uh, nine years and nine months? Please, seriously save me! I'm getting sucked into this and now I'm poor! Your family? So is that really a surprise? Oh, I'm so glad I'm not involved in that mess. Please help! Mom won't see me either! I can't imagine she would want to. It's my fault! I'm sorry! I'll never look down on you again! Please! Oh, too late for that. Alan! 
You keep this up and I'm gonna call the cops. No! She gave up, but she must have been really struggling. She came to apologize every day. Mom was worried after seeing this, so I thought maybe I'll help her on certain conditions. Eh, is that too nice? There are so many people who dropped out and started successful companies. No matter the case, there are no good times to mock people who are giving back to society. Troublebusters. 